Howdy folks, welcome back to the Taylor Burks Road to the Show series here on MLB 23 PS5, episode 567. Uh, after another win, but one of the most egregious pulls we've seen in this series. We go eight and two thirds. <laughs> An infield hit got us out of the game. And we don't get the complete game shut out, but we did win eight nothing, so can't really be too mad. Face a division opponent day in the Phillies, but we are going to face the D-backs um, at home. So that's good. It's been a better May for Washington. We're looking for an even better June uh, as we still sit six and a half games back. A 5 nothing win there. You love to see that out of Bruno. Seven scoreless innings. Good job, guys. Win this one. Push stamina a little bit. We do win that one. 27 or 7 to 1. Corey Griffin drives in two. And Adrian Molina drives in five. Wow, what a day from Ellis Goodwin striking out 14 as well. All right. Chance for a little sweep action. Nope. <laughs> and please win this one. Yeah, I know I'm leading the league in strikeouts. No, I'm good. Golly, man. Well, another chance for a 3-2 and two episode as we have to face the D-backs. I was hoping it would be a little better than that, but... Doesn't look like it will be. Sam Oliver. Stud. That's about it, though. Carson Williams was, st was signed there, I guess, for a three-year deal. He's had a good career. Um, okay. Not a bad team, but not a very good team. Let's get into this. I want to wear the City Connects. I haven't worn them since opening day. Actually, let's wear some Expos. So we are 27 and 33. Let's get to 5 below 500. Hey, if we can win this game, every winning episode it gets us a little bit closer. So let's do it. So just about set now, our starting pitcher in this one, Taylor Brooks, one of the best strikeout pitchers in the history of baseball. Yeah, Boogie, he's got some of the best strikeout stuff in the history of the game. Over 4,000 career strikeouts. We'll see how many he's got today. Here comes a pitch. And strike two. Today in Major League Baseball, like the hats. one of the greatest players in the history of the game, Lou Gehrig. It started in 2021, and today throughout Major League Baseball, we raise awareness of right, ALS, two, two. the disease that claimed the life of the great iron horse, Lou Gehrig. The 2-2. Two -two. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. When you think about the impact of Lou Gehrig on the world of sports, consider this. His number four was retired after he passed from ALS it is the first number ever to be retired in all of professional sports so effectively the reason we have retired numbers Dang. is due to the fact that Lou Gehrig passed from ALS I've heard that line of dialogue before uh, but that's pretty good next for Arizona Henry Flint and first offering is fouled off Personally, Lou Gehrig Day means a ton to me. I lost a close friend to ALS in 2007, Tim Sheehy. And you're talking about a disease that is 100% fatal. And the average lifespan for people diagnosed with ALS is just between two and five years. Here's the catcher, Sam Oliver. Interesting. I actually really appreciate that, there. those lines One of dialogue. The as as Commentary. Awareness for ALS is that it is necessary to raise money not just for research but also for okay care. um oh, now this ball gets down headed for the play one runs in runner holds at third so just one across this on is a ball. really bad start Big what is happening right there to give him the lead that was clutch just a really nice job let's try to work our way out of this what is no happening there so once it drops in fair you're on your way to extra bases Shot back to the mound, and he gloves A little lucky there, one down. One out in the top of the first. 
straight to get on the board in the first frame of the missing ball game. spots right bad for them to really just right down the middle every time runners on let's see if they can cash in second and third here one away that's in there and the count is 0 and 2 would love a K here we got it two down and now two gone the second baseman Joey Weiss <coughs> Fly ball down the popped line. up we do give up the one sadly one. but it's going to be just fine the catch. That is the inning. and Bellinger gets us right back tied up so we're good new, right. left new life ball. let's restart the reigning Cy Young Award winner. He features a two-seam fastball, a changeup, a slider, a curve, and occasionally uses a cutter. Tosses to first and quickly one away in the second. Next up for the Diamondbacks, Elliot Kirby. Hey. That one's in there. Strike one. And ball one. One down, base is empty. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. And now here is Salvador Villalobos. And first offering is fouled off. This is one of those situations the infielders have to no, plan and understand that the ball's got to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. Kirby, the base runner at first with one out. Got him. Two down. Well, he really filled up the strike zone and that at bat until that final pitch. And as a hitter, you sense that they're coming after you, not Golly, dancing around dude. the strike zone. They want to attack, and so you kind of get into swing mode, and you have to protect steal, the plate. Steal, steal. Runner on the goal. That's out to Fly ball. Molina is right on it. Under it. And that'll be the end in. of the second. And that Top is of the second. Let's go hit. We have a triple, but we do not score him. Ah, Henry Flint has done the same thing twice. Bounced off Molina's glove, but it was hit so hard it don't matter. Against good pitchers, you've got to take advantage of the mistakes. That was right in his wheelhouse, and he didn't miss a stitch. Oliver in the box now, takes strike one. Doubled in his first A.B. with two strikes may see some movement over there at first base try to stay out of a double play here nice and a one down and one out down so here's brown at the plate over one so far and that's in there for strike one calling an 0-0 count not every strike is a good strike runner on the goal takes off that's fouled off. One fouled off tied up here in the early going the next pitch misses, and it's one and two. Bounce that mm. off to the left, and we'll do it again. Up and in, two balls, two strikes. It's a good take. <coughs> pitch misses, and the count's full. At the belt and fire. Struck him out looking with the off speed stuff. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back to back strikeout. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Strike two. No ball, two strikes. He goes down looking. Disgusting. Solo shot, 2-1. Nice. Bill Winston. Here at the ballpark, start of the fourth. Here's the second baseman, Joey Weiss. First pitch, and he just misses. 
Well, these Diamondbacks showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. He's only given up one run. Oh, Hello, Corey Griffin. One down. And that's a great play for the out. Third base has to be so quick with their first step reactions, hot shots like that. That's why they call it the hot corner. That's a perfect example, though. There's no way he gloves that one if he's not dialed in, anticipating something coming his way, staying on his toes every pitch. Really nice job to get back up, set himself, and make a strong throw across the diamond. That two-seam fastball is usually coupled with a slider away, and when a hitter's conscious of the pitch in, it's hard for him to cover middle away. Taylor gets there in the That's air, two down. Really finish off that batter. Jam the mess out of him there. Kirby mm. takes a ball as he stands in for the second time. Oh. Swing and a miss. One ball, one and a count one and one. Right hander kicks deals. They say it went. One ball, two strikes. We go to the top of the fifth. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Salvador Villalobos. That's in there. Strike one. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. On the ground. Lynn's got it. We're only in the fifth, man. We've thrown a lot of pitches. Actually, only 55. But still. Popped up. Saying. It might. It will. Two down. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. In the box now. No balls in a strike. All ones the count. Not our best spot there, but apparently the right pitch. Flint swings through it. He cannot tack anymore on, so it's still just a one run lead. Pitches outside. Righty delivers. And it's fouled away. And a ball in two strikes. Got him swinging for the K. He notches strikeout number 150 this season. And next will be the cleanup hitter. 150 for Taylor. For another good strikeout day. On the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome. It seems like within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Next offering is foul back. Popped up, two down. And there's two down. And the batter will be the shortstop, Carson Williams. In there for strike one, Williams, a member of the 1,000 hit club, and he's a former gold glover in the American League. And that's a strike. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Oh, two to Carson. Goodbye, Carson. Uh, no, not yet. I wanted to say goodbye, Carson, but not yet. Oh, longer episode. Almost 15 minutes already. It is to throw that breaking ball with just a little more conviction to get the swing and miss. I do got to go to work soon, so. That one down the line. Quote play, Corey. Through six, I'm sure we'll throw a seventh, maybe an eighth. And that's the third out. We'll see if we hold on here or can stretch this lead. No, not at all. Back in Washington, D.C. Now it's the second baseman. Since Joey that tough first, Taylor's been locked. That's the third Griffin. 
Griffin, good play. You know he's got a good arm. Sends one it down. Across the first, and they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. Now back the left field. Tanner Carr stands in now for the Diamondbacks. On the ground to short. Good play, Reynaldo Lynn. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Elliot Kirby. That's a two down here in the seventh. First pitch a couple good plays by the left side of our infield. That one missed. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. Bounced up the middle. Gathers Ooh. and rolls to first. That so the whole infield making some plays. Helps us out. Gets us out of the seventh there. 77 pitches and into the eighth. Got to hold on here. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Brooks. Into his eighth really would like to win this game. He's been good. Yeah, he's the type of guy that gets better as he gets deeper into the ball game. If you're going to get to him, you get to him early. They didn't do that today. We'll 0 2 from Taylor. Bad spot. Bad spot. The tying run at the plate. Popped up. Lind. For some Lind reason, Lind is going to play this. That should Holds be Griffin's ball. That is okay. And there's one down. Pitch count in great shape. It's, yeah, like it's in the grass. It's going to go to the shortstop there in this game. Nope. The next to hit takes low for a ball. I don't care. It got caught. Base hit for Gerard Whitfield. And it'll be the two for three. Something Flint. Malachi Flint? Oh, never mind. We are out of the game. He gets out of it. We do not score there. Jason Bauer closes us out. And the Nationals slash Expos. Each pitcher is trying to outdo the other, go a little bit deeper into the ball game, and for win this guys, one. It really came down to a few key at bats. This was a nice seven and block. seven and a third right. innings well, pitch, one today. and eight Ks. Love to see that. Want to win every series from here on out. That's the goal. Win every series, and everything should be fine. <laughs> All right. Leave. We beat the well, yeah, okay, we've done it well lately. We went three or two and one against the Padres, two and one against the Royals, two and one against the Dodgers, two and one against the Phillies. We need one more win here to go two and one against the D back. So it has been a decent run for the Nationals. Um, we are winning games. So that's good. Uh Taylor is still 11 and 0, 0.74 ERA, 110 innings now, 150 Ks, uh, and a 0.51 whip. So if you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. The next one's going to be against the old Houston Astros. That's it for me. That's Taylor Brooks, episode 567 in the books.